Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Uh, for someone out there, there's a man from your past that is stuck in some type of contract. I don't know if he binded himself to either a person place or thing or organization and he wants out of that contract um it's it, the only thing is that he's binded like someone is desperate to get out of a contract i don't know if he went and got married partner up with a low vibrational institution as far as like a coat whatever this is this man feels trapped he feels isolated out of place uh he feels alone whoever he's with is uh verbally i don't know if they're verbally abusive or whatever this is but he wants out of that contract. He's not happy. He wants his family back. I don't think you care, but honey, it is what it is. He made his bed. Let him lay in it. Okay? Someone was taking a lot of impulsive and reckless action behind actions uh, behind the scenes to destroy you based on some type of illusion and lie. And he knew it was a lie the whole time, but he still wanted to go along with it. Someone knew you were very genuine, and he still chose to lie about the relationship that he had with you now that the truth is out about you queen of cups he's wanting to walk away from that relationship come to you and give you some type of offer you ain't interested for to leave him out in the cold because you're plenty on while working with somebody else or somebody else is plenty on working with you giving to you and things like that and he's pissed off about that it's like him realizing he put himself in a sticky situation with a siren now that he knows the siren is a siren uh, he wants to come back to the Empress because the siren is a siren. Like, that got something to do with you. Okay? Someone, you may be having a brand new passionate beginning. You're coming out here as the fool, so you're approaching life with a optimistic mindset. Mindset, okay? Very enthusiastic. You're stepping out on faith, stepping out on hope. Uh, and someone is planning and trying to figure out how they can sabotage your new beginning, basically. The same plot line. But we're going to keep doing this story. We're going to listen to the Most High and see this through. Hopefully, everything works itself out. Uh, but someone is still calculating, plotting, planning on how they can sabotage you. Okay? Yeah, sabotage your Ten of Pentacles. They don't want you being fruitful because someone has lied on you. This is a Queen of a queen of Swords that lies. She's angry. She's pissed up. She's bitter. Okay? She lied on you and said that you were mentally ill. And didn't know what you were doing. You were uneducated. And she was playing on this for a long time. Um, and the truth is out that you are not mentally ill. And this woman is being exposed um, as someone very malicious. I'm telling you, the truth is out. She's being exposed as someone very malicious. She's been uh, taking actions behind the scenes to sabotage and destroy your work, your family, everything. This family here, this organization that got together to destroy you. They're going through karma. They're going through some type of karma. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. The truth will set you free. I'm telling you, this came out sideways. The truth is out about an uh, empress in reverse that's been doing some type of... I don't know what this is. Someone took some type of impulsive action, reckless action behind the scenes to try to steal something from you, take something from you, cause you a tower or something of that nature. And all it led to was her being exposed. I don't know if this is someone's ex-wife with her being in the reverse or this is just someone that's low vibrational yeah some type of decision she made to affect someone's option or decision in love decision decision uh whatever action she took to interfere with someone's decision in love backfired horribly so it led to her being exposed and she may be crying behind the scenes she's angry and things like that maybe disappointed that she got caught because this is not someone that cares about how her actions affect other people, but just know that the truth is out. Loud and clear. Bold with it. Okay? The universe ain't playing. Okay? 
Okay. And then you got a queen of wands that's pissed off because a king of uh, wand, a king of swords may be taking some type of different path. I don't know what this has to do with when it comes to the two of them. Maybe they were partner up together, doing something together behind the scenes. Maybe he decided to take a different path, uh, focus on something better. Uh, she was trying to keep him in some type of commitment, but he's choosing to move on with his life. There's something like that going on here. Uh, but someone is heartbroken that you are stepping out on faith. You're still moving forward and having wish fulfillment in life. They've been doing everything and anything you can think of to sabotage your wish fulfillment. Make sure that you don't get what it is that's yours. You don't have any support. You're not happy in life. You don't receive like your ace of pentacles uh offers that are supposed to be coming to you maybe someone wants to extend a friendship to you and they don't want you receiving that uh so they've been taking action behind the scenes to sabotage they with a sabotage it with the help of a number of other people people smiling in your face people you know people you don't know strangers coming up against you based on lies all because a narcissist or a group of narcissists decided that you shouldn't have something, you shouldn't be fulfilled in life. It's a whole group of people that's about to be in a lot of trouble because you're still going to be seen and heard. And the truth will be seen about you and who you are. You are a queen of pentacles. Some type of explanation is going to be needed by law enforcement or some type of institution. Why did you do this? Why would you do something like this? You're causing us money. You can't work here anymore. We're going to need you to pay us back our money. We're about to lose in this lawsuit. It's something like that. Balance is about to be playing out, though. It's something like that. Trying to keep someone from getting in a relationship. Trying to block two people from coming together. Keep two people from coming together. Because when your two come together, you're building a ten of pentacles. And they don't want that happening. Okay? They don't want you two giving to each other, having a family. They want this man to live in fear of you. They may even be trying to take something from a king of pentacles. You may, be, you want, to, you may want to be careful about that. They're trying to steal your money. I don't know if they're like getting into your accounts or things like that because I've been picking up on that a lot. Someone paying another energy to hack into accounts. So they may be trying to take your money, uh, something, some type of information. They've been hacking your systems, your phones, and things like that, trying to get into your bank account. They probably already got into your bank accounts, but they cannot get your money. They've been trying hard. They've been trying hard. They cannot get your money. Because these are people that steal from behind the scenes in order to get what it is that they want. They've been doing this for a long time. It's a whole it's a whole operation within an operation. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. It's an operation within an operation. Yeah, they're trying to keep you from falling in love or connecting with a queen of swords. And there's a tower. She, she's, whoever you're trying to connect with has brought some type of clarity. They took some type of impulsive action, reckless action against this queen of swords. And maybe this, this, this queen of swords said something, did something that illuminated something to you. You're having some type of revelation or epiphany at the moment. Uh, some type of uh, uh, wrong decision was made. Excuse me. Some type of wrong decision was made and this queen of swords may have illuminated that to you or there is some type of inconsistency going on, some type of imbalance going on within a relationship. There's something going on where it's that like you're not seeing someone the way you used to see them because the truth is out about them. Someone may have been pretending to be genuine, but this is someone that's disingenuine. So you're seeing the truth about everything this person has been doing who they really are on a core level if you have a i don't know if this is your mother your wife ex-wife whatever this is baby mama in the reverse the empress in the reverse has been working with this queen of pen uh queen of oh lord it's too many people to keep track of queen of swords reverse she's been working with this queen of swords it's a whole lot of people that's been working together it's like your family came together with an organization you work with to hinder your forward movement. They don't want you connecting with someone else. There could be like a divorce going on. And she's trying to stop this divorce from going on. She don't want to lose her house. Or she may be trying to take a house from you. I don't know what this is. But she's been working with a group of other people within an institution. To block you from connecting with someone. And I don't even think you are 
someone that will connect with another energy while you are either married or you may know that whoever you want to communicate with or connect with ain't going to entertain you if you're married or if you're ticking or something. I don't know what this is, but there's some type of inconsistency that you've picked up on around you. Okay. There's some type of inconsistency that you have picked up on. You may be having some type of revelation as well that there is someone around you that has been interfering with communications or with a relationship with the lovers being in the reverse of the tower. This is you having some type of awakening like, dang, they've been interfering with me connecting with this person the whole time. They made it seem like they were supporting me, trying to keep me on the right path, but the whole time they've been trying to keep me in a toxic situation. This is what it is that you are figuring out. This is your family and your co-workers coming together to keep you in some type of toxic situation interfere with a relationship or a connection coming together so it's not that they're supporting you or trying to keep you happy it's that they don't want you connecting with someone they're all in on it yeah they're all in on it and they're 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 not happy that you are coming out of the cold and you're not refusing someone you see someone that's wish fulfillment <laughs> you're moving on from past disappointments you are moving on from past disappointments stepping out in on faith hope this is my last read for the day and then i'm going to sleep because i'm tired I am is tired. I am is tired. I am is tired. Okay. Then you're you're leaving. There's some type of hurt. I think before you were hoping to have some type of fresh start with someone, but you found out it was a disappointment. Um, I don't know if you went back to an ex thinking that things were gonna work out and they didn't work out. It's just as toxic as it used to be. Or you may have partnered up with someone else thinking that it was going to be something, but it turned out it was a waste of your time as well. And so now you're leaving all of that hurt behind you and stepping forward in faith, right? On uh, hope. And then you could have a king of cups coming out of hiding after he's been out here sabotaging someone else. I don't know if he's coming out of hiding to do what? <laughs> to come make an offer to someone. That offer is rejected. <laughs> The Queen of Cups says she's planning to go with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, she, she, she she's planning to go with the King of Pentacles. So I don't know where you're coming from. I think this man has been with a Queen of Wands reverse that thought that his ex wanted him back. And maybe she's finding out that woman don't give two Fs about this man. She wishes him to be happy. Like, and maybe she's going through some type of realization. Like, oh, she don't want him? No. The fact that you don't want him now, she don't want him. But if you will have wanted him, then she wants him. And that you know, you you know how some women are immature. They only want your man if you want your man. If you don't want your man, they don't want your man no more. <laughs> yeah, she said, "Oh well, it's time for me to go steal somebody else's man." It seems that she don't want you, so I I'm not gonna have any thrill out of this. I had only wanted you. We orchestrated this whole contract so that we could break her heart. She could see us get married and things like that. But it looks like she don't get two Fs about who you're with, what you're doing. She ain't going to entertain you or nothing. She don't got time for you. She's rejecting you, keeping away from you. So I'm not going to get any thrill out of that. I'm going to go steal somebody else's man. Listen, sis, if you can take him, you ain't stealing him. He's going where he belongs. Okay, he's going where he belongs. Maybe he's trying to come in to bring something to your attention. And I don't know what this is about a betrayal. Maybe he had a one-night stand with this Knight of Wands out here. He had a one-night stand with a Queen of Wands or something like that. And he's regretting it. Uh, he's been keeping this secret for a long time. She may be part of this toxic family dynamic that's going through some type of betrayal. Why they're trying to end someone's ten of pentacles. So maybe this masculine is coming out of the cold to, 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 to confess his heart to you. Say, I had a one night stand with this person. It could be a family member with this ten of pentacles out here. Maybe he had a one night stand with your sister. Maybe he had a one night stand with a brother. Baby, you don't never know what people be up to out here these days. We ain't here to judge, but I'm just telling you it could be a possibility. Maybe he had a one-night stand with your mammy. 
Maybe you had a one night stand with your daddy. I remember I got on social media the other day and a woman was talking about how she found her husband or her boyfriend in bed with her father. I said, God, Lord, have mercy. I don't know what I would do in that situation. Probably just pass out and just, just go back home. Just go back home to the dream world. Like, my heart is too weak for this. I can't do it now. I can't do it, Lord. I can't do it. This is not part of the... I don't remember this being part of the contract. Yeah, I didn't tell me this would be going on. I'm going to come back home. We're going to try this rodeo again after I sleep, okay? But it could be something like that. With this Knight of Wands out here, he more than likely had a one-night stand with someone. Or he was reckless out here with his wand, giving his wand to anybody and everybody, just collaborating against you to block you from being seen, block you from being prosperous. Like a brother had a, has a whole lot on his chest. And he wants to come towards you and say it with his chest, like, this is what I did. I'm so sorry for doing it. I was wondering if we can work things out. You're like, hey, I don't, I don't got no grudges against you, but we ain't working nothing out. You are forgiving, but you're going to stay with your lady over there. That's your lady. You're going to stick beside her. Okay? Yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shy. One night stand, huh? Nah, it wasn't just no one night stand. Excuse me. Brother don't got out here and, and had a whole lot of nice stand. Some of you, you don't had a baby with a woman. It's a lifelong stand now. Lifelong commitment. It don't went from a one night stand to a long life stand. A lifelong stand. Is that we got a whole baby together now? God damn. Some of you, he may have found out the baby ain't his. And he's all sad. Going through woes. And now he wants to come back to, to you and tell you. How sorry him is for betraying you. And you're like, I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, you got people trying to cause disturbance and something being balanced. This uh, other gentleman, the King of Pentacles, wants to work with you. But his family members and co-workers, friends, whoever, trying to talk him out of it. It's all manipulation. I think this man knows that it's manipulations that they're doing. And he may know people are taking a lot of actions against you. Uh, trying to stop you, block you, destroy you. Like, he knows. This man is privy to something that's going on. He knows. He knows. And he's just watching them take action. Like, something is about to... He's about to cut something out real quick. Look, I see what y'all doing. Oh, you think I'm stupid. But this isn't someone that's going to say something. He's just going to watch them and see how they move. This is someone that's studying a group of people, more than likely. And they know he's very intellectual. Very, very intellectual. Spiritually, materially, he's intellectual spiritually and on the physical plane. Someone is very grounded. And he always shows up as himself. The king of pentacles to the freaking magician. Uh, the temperance. This man, baby, these people are playing with fire. And you always show up as, as his match. Okay, King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups to the King of King of King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Okay, King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. You always show up as a match. Every now and then you'll have another Queen King of Wands reverse. You have to show up and act like it's this King of Pentacles. It ain't him. It's somebody else that's being sent. And there he go. As soon as I mention him, there him go. As there's somebody else being sent towards you to pretend to be. Your twin flame. Baby, you're going to pick up on that mother sucker so quick. Like a dog, like a, a, a hellhound. Say, so, is that a karmic I smell? Yes, indeed. You got me fooled up in one or two many ways. If you think I don't know you a karmic. I said I smelled a karmic. And you're going to be there. No, no, I is not a karmic. Girl, what you talking about? So, you know, girl, what I'm, well, what I am talking about. You are karmic. You are karmic, and you are karmic in right now. That's when they start glitching. Oh, yeah, your king of cups, the reverse, the one that left you for a jizzy bell, <laughs> is coming towards you. He's going for it, and it's a failure. I'm telling you, sir, she, that woman don't, like, you're going to bring all clarity in the situation, and she's going to tell you, thank you for letting me know. I wish you the best, but goodbye. Goodbye. And there him go, feeling all alone, left out, just like he left you out in the cold for a group of people and for a beautiful face. Everybody got a beautiful face. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. They probably offer him some woman that has a, a big butt, big breast, uh, all the, the particulars were in place. 
and she was pretty to look at, but beneath the surface, nothing. Just nothing. I'm telling you, nothing. Nothing but manipulations. All she does is play mind games with him. And he's sitting there feeling alone, talking about where is my empress. Baby, that ain't your empress no more. Your empress has been given to somebody else by the Most High. The Most High said, hey, brother, Mr. King of Pentacles, listen here. Listen, listen, listen. I'm giving this woman to you as a gift, okay? We're going to need you to take care of this gift. Because somebody before you effed up royally. So, we need you to be patient with this one. Because this one here, this empress is a knucklehead. That's what they told him. That's what it, like I was there or something. <laughs> I'm saying she's a knucklehead because she's showing up to in this pitch of uh, source energy. The pitch of source people are stubborn people, very hard headed, but very loyal. So she's showing up as a pitch of source and a seven of wands. She's loyal and in the upright, but she's a knucklehead. Uh, Knight of Sources, baby, please. That woman is a knucklehead. They probably told him, listen, King of Pentacles, listen, listen, listen. Now, this woman right here, this is a different one. This one here, this is a different formula. I don't remember what formula I used to make this one, but you're going to have to be careful because this is a knucklehead 24-7, 365 days a year, okay? And he looked at it, he said, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to end this karmic ch uh, chapter. I'm going to try it out with a knucklehead. <laughs> And the boss high said, you're sure, right? You're sure about this, right? He said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to try to knucklehead out. I'm going to knucklehead myself. They said, we know. That's what... <laughs> we know. That's why we're asking you. There she, there, there, I'm telling you. The whole group... Baby. Let's get back to this tarot reading. That's enough side comments. All right. The, the whole group that's been collaborating against you, they're still manipulating. They're confused, okay? They're in some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment. They feel blocked. They feel bounded. They want you to feel bounded, but you don't feel bounded. They want you to feel restrained, constricted, all kinds of stuff. Put you in some type of victim mentality. You don't feel like a victim. They feel like a victim. That's how the universe works. You got a, a queen of swords reversed in the community as well, trying to put you in some type of victim mentality. And she's trying to play a victim when she's the one that's been doing something to you. And maybe she thinks nobody knows what she's been doing. But this man knows. It's, I'm telling you, this man knows. Someone has been watching something play out. And they don't know that he knows. He's been watching something play out. Like someone has been in a group's uh presence for so long that he has studied them and knows how they move and they're still trying to pretend like like it ain't piss they're still trying to tell him it's rain and he says shoot now i've been on this earth for 40 some years 50 some years P uh, rain ain't never smelled like that before that ain't no rain he didn't drink the kool-aid i guess they wanted him to drink that Kool-Aid. He said, mm-mm-mm. That Kool-Aid Kool seems suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. He said, sure, it is suspicious. I ain't drinking that. Sure, I may never walk again if I drink that Kool-Aid. I may never be the same. I might lose my mind up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here. Up in here, yeah. Baby, they're trying to have you. They're trying to have this man confused, stopped, blocked. Trap everything. They said, we got to stop him. We got to stop him from moving on. We got to stop him from giving her an offer. We got to stop him from doing this and doing that. So she's going to come to him and play victim. About how she's sick. How she's this. She's losing her house. She's going through this. Blah, 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 blah. He's going to say, I don't, I do not. <laughs> He's not going to say, I do not care. But he don't care. He's going to listen to her, and that's about it. He said, oh, really? Sorry to hear about that. <laughs> As he, you know, hop on along, Charlie on along, on his horse, to his empress. So, but Miss Lady, ma'am, <laughs> I'm telling you, Miss Lady, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sir. Someone's coming in your energy to manipulate you. Play on your emotions. Yeah, it's all manipulations. It's all manipulations. 
you're going through changes, you're changing things, someone doesn't want things to change, they want things to stay the same, even though nothing is improving, things are not getting better, they want everything to stay the, the same, okay, you're listening to your intuition, you've gone through some type of spiritual awakening, slowly but surely, but you're going through it, I hope you're not going through some type of depression or maybe you are sad because you don't know if someone is going to accept your offer because maybe you're coming from a genuine place. Whoever you're going to, they, they know, they know. But you are going through some type of change and it's something that's, uh, what is this, voluntary? You may want to be careful of enemies around you too. You got hidden enemies. You got enemies. Got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain you of your energy, trying to take away from a trigger. Now, I don't know if you're a trigger, but it don't matter. Okay? We're going to pray for you. You got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain you of your energy, trying to take away from a trigger. Eh. Because you got them trigger. Eh, eh, eh. Mm -mm. Yeah, you got hitting enemies around you. But you are protected, is what I'm being told to tell you. You are protected. Whatever it is you're doing, keep to yourself. You're dealing with a lot of anxieties as well, is what I'm hearing. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Some attunement, some balance, some healing. Dang. It's a king of swords. You're stuck in his mind. Just stuck in his mind. Said, why didn't I partner up with this person? Why did I choose to betray this person? Why did I try to steal from this person? Trying to steal somebody's independence and finances and resources. This man, whoever this other king of swords is, this man is, I don't know what this is. But he's been trying to figure out how to steal someone's resources. They tried to steal from this king of swords. I mean, king of pentacles, excuse me. They've been trying to steal from you. Take your money. Or it could be the King of Pentacles trying to steal from the King of Swords. I don't know which one it is, but somebody's trying to steal some money. Yeah, that's an absolute yes. They're trying to steal your money. Cut your losses and move on. You are protected. This is the truth being illuminated to you. If you stay somewhere for too long, these people are going to end up doing something to you. You may want to find the strength and balance the situation out. Go towards whoever you were trying to go towards and give them a friendship. Uh, I don't know if someone went to a community and gave a king of swords some type of friendship in order to manipulate him in blocking a relationship between two people because a queen of wands wants to be the one to receive that offer. And it's a queen of wands in the reverse. It didn't go into her. That man said, you got me forward to you think I'm about to what? Girl, please. Uh, anyways, <sighs> I don't know what this is. It's like the seven of wands to the six of um, to the lovers in the reverse. Someone is trying to make it seem like they're trying to protect a relationship or trying to protect someone from a horrible relationship. But what they're really trying to do is keep him stuck. It's like they're trying to make their decision seem like it was for the good of this person, but it's some type of mind games. Okay, they're trying to like someone is opposing you, but trying to make it seem like they're supporting you. You feel me? Like they're trying to, they're intervening, they're interfering with your connection with a new person, trying to get you to stay in a connection with a toxic person. More than likely, your ex wife, baby mama, or whoever. Okay, they're trying to get you to stay with this person, but they're trying to do it in a way where it seems like they're advocating for you, but it's not advocating. Okay, and you need to find your tenacity or use your tenacity, your bravery, whatever it is, and move on with your life. Okay, because if you go back to your past, if you stay with a karmic person, maybe you're going to learn to regret it. You'll choose the path of despair, and there could be someone around you that ends up telling you that after, <laughs> after you make the wrong decision and get with the queen of cups reverse. Because this is someone that's manipulative as heck. You got a group of people around you that are manipulating you and trying to keep you from getting in a connection that is good for you. That's going to balance you out. I don't know if this king, queen of cups reverse is your sister or your potential love interest. But if you get with this woman, it's going to be a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. This woman is headed for nothing but poverty. Nothing but disappointment. Someone plays the victim after she's done 
destroying other people. After she's done attacking other people, she likes to play victim. That victim mentality has been following her her whole life because she knows how to use it to get what it is that she wants. And she's coming to you to play victim. And if you fall for it, and that's your business. But this woman is very worried about you balancing things out with someone who's like going to send their master, you taking control of a situation, making a decision and listening to your intuition to give a contract to someone that is just as high vibrational as you, someone you have very fond memories of is what I'm hearing. They're trying to tell you that no, your memories of the person you have is not up to part, it's not correct. No, that person was toxic. No, 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 sir. Listen to your intuition, okay? Listen to your intuition. There's some type of manipulation going on around you. You could work with these people because when this story comes out, I always see like the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. There's some type of work relationship, Five of Pentacles as well. There's some type of work relationship between you and these people and then your family may be involved as far as like your either your wife or your ex-wife, your baby mama, whoever this is. There's some type of collaboration going on amongst all of these people to interfere, intervene with uh, you connecting with someone else, with a relationship. They don't want you to see someone as wholesome, but this person will always come out either as a star seed, a temperance energy, a high priestess in the upright, a, 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 a queen of cups, page of cups, all those genuine energies that people want to be around. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords people tend to think are you know, energies that are just uh, brutes. No, they're just being straightforward with you. But, baby, whatever this is, if you get with that karmic and stay with that karmic, you're going to live to regret it. Someone's going to tell you afterwards, after the fact, that you make, made the wrong choice. Okay, and you're going to have to strengthen, you're going to have to find your strength to make it through it. These people are arguing about someone else's strength. That someone is too strong. And they're acting out of ego too. They think someone defending themselves is ego, but the whole time they're trying to destroy the person that's defending themselves. I don't is that some type of backwards thinking? We're trying to destroy you, but you're the problem, even though you're not doing anything to us. That's that some type of backwards thinking. I'm telling you, they're fighting because you want to give an offer. To someone and they want to put an end they want to put an end to this person before you can give them an offer but everything they're plotting is a failure they will never succeed anything these people touch in life will never prosper until they pay their debt of 10 years of karma for each person involved until you do right by that imp uh, empress energy queen of cups whoever you've been coming up after nothing you touch will ever prosper nothing Okay, every last one of you, nothing you touch will ever prosper until you do right and fix what you've destroyed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, folks. See you in the next read. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.